Welcome to Two Minute Tactics, where we look at a recent game and focus on the tactical approach of the teams. Hi guys, today we'll be looking at the Champions League second leg tie between Liverpool and Atletico Madrid, but first, let's take a look at the lineups. Starting off with Liverpool, who started on a 4-3-3 formation with one hold midfielder, Adrian in goal, back four of Trent Alexander-Arnold, Joe Gomez, Virgil van Dijk and Andrew Robertson. Jordan Henderson is the pivot in midfield with Alex Oxlade-Chamberlain and Gini Wijnaldum either side. And then the famous one three of uh, Mohamed Salah, Roberto Firmino and Sadio Mane. Now moving on to Atletico Madrid, who set up in a 4-4-2 uh, formation. Jan Oblak in goal, Trippier, Savic, Felipe and Lodi as the back four. Correa, Koke, Thomas Partey and Sao Niguez made up the midfield. And then a front two of Diego Costa and Jao Felix. Before we start, let's put two minutes on the clock and let's go. Okay, so starting off with Atletico Madrid, who set up in a 4-4-2 formation on paper, but once the game started, a trend what I, what I tended to notice during the game was that they doubled up on Sadio Mane, so when the ball was gradually moving over to the left-hand side, Angel Correa would move from the right midfield position into a right wing-back position, supporting Kieran Trippier and preventing any 1v1 situations. Whereas on the right-hand side, Mohamed Salah, who was stretching to play nice high and wide, was 1v1 against Lodi, which also meant that Trent Alexander-Arnold was able to come into the half spaces, also leaving a little bit of space in behind for Alex Oxlade-Chamberlain to run in the first half and then Genie Wijnaldum to run into, into extra time. Athletic Committee had set up in the 4-4-2 to prevent space in between the lines. They're happy to let the opposition have space back here where they can see them, the ball in front of them at all times. So Liverpool were trying to make the pitch nice high and wide, trying to get balls down the line and then deliver a ball into the box, which we saw them score goals from. I've never seen a team pin back Atletico as much as what they were, but Atletico have got grit and determination and they've also got a world-class goalkeeper in goal. When Atletico did get the ball, their main focus was let's not play around with it here because Liverpool can punish us in here. They can press the ball, they can win it back. Let's just get it up the pitch and see what chances we can get. And obviously in extra time, they got a mistake from Liverpool's goalkeeper, Adrian, and then they took it basically, they took the chances, but what Atletico try and do is make teams force play. But what Liverpool did well on the night was that they were patient, they had the two centre-backs nice and wide apart so Jordan Henderson can come in and receive the ball. The full-backs, Andy Robertson is always high and wide, Trent Alexander-Arnold just comes off the line, so when he takes the ball he can take a touch forward and then deliver into the box, which we know that he's really good at. Alex Oxlade-Chamberlain and Gene Wijnaldum were always looking for a bit of space in between the lines, it was hard for them to come by, so the decision making had to be right. What Liverpool done well is that they were patient in their play, but they also varied. So when Liverpool did win the ball back in their own half, they looked for that long ball over the top to Mane, over the top to Salah, to try and get in behind and punish Atletico quickly. But in terms of the overall play of the game, a lot of intensity went into Liverpool's play. As soon as the ball went out, the ball boys were throwing the ball back in. The intensity was high throughout and that's how you've got to try and beat Atletico. And if it wasn't for a mistake from the goalkeeper, we would have saw Liverpool advance into the next round. Thank you for watching this week's video. For more content, follow me on Instagram, Twitter and Facebook. The links will be in the description below and stay tuned for another 2 Minute Tactics next week.